June 2013, the Turtle Island Restoration Network, Sea Turtles, and EcoTeach partnered to host an Eco Tour in Costa Rica. A unique travel experience, the Eco Tour focused on leatherback sea turtle conservation and marine debris density research. Volunteers from across the United States joined conservation expert Chris Pensetich for seven days, saving leatherbacks, cleaning beaches, and exploring rainforest ecosystems. The trip began with a short boat ride to the fairly remote and isolated research station, Estacion Las Tortugas, on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. Here, volunteers were trained in sea turtle nest patrol and hatchery procedures. So uh, when we do patrol, we go out, so the group that does 15 to 28 will come out of section 4, which is here. We'll go all the way to 28, have a rest there for 15, 20 minutes, and then come back to 15, have another rest for 15, 20 minutes, and keep doing that the whole night. Okay? And After training and orientation, Eco Tour participants saw several nesting sea turtles and were able to take an active role in leatherback nest monitoring, egg relocation, and data collection. Don't punch it, just kind of need it. And then the turtle we see, why you estimate the depth by measuring her because that's how she does it. <laughs> that's how she figures it out. Okay, so if you take the first her legs, so how do you know which ones are in the little ones. Oh, they're the tiny ones? Oh, they're, yeah. ones are in the they're, they're the small ones. They're little. Yeah. Okay, so this will be 10. Yeah. How many people's in is that? Three. This was, this was, no, three. The group was also fortunate enough to witness sea turtle nests hatch and participate in their release. Yeah. Yeah, it, she dug them out of the sand because every two hours they go see whether there's some that are close enough to the surface that you can dig them out. Let's go. You dig them out, you give them shade, you measure them and everything, and then we let them go, she says, 3.30. If conditions are too hot or predators too numerous, hatchlings face a higher risk for mortality. So babies are collected during the day and kept cool until they are released near the ocean at sunset. Oh, well, there we go! Ah! There we go! In addition to making sure hatchlings made it safely to sea, Eco Tour participants took part in removing plastic pollution from sea turtle nesting beaches and assisted with scientific research on plastic debris density. Plastic debris lasts for decades on beaches and can threaten sea turtle hatchling survival through entanglement or accidental yeah, it looks like consumption. Melted plastic bags, large weathered plastic, some sort of polyester cloth. Cigarrillo. Oh. Cigarrillo. Okay, cigarette butt. Let's record that. Cigarette butt. During their time in Costa Rica, Eco Tour participants also explored rainforest ecosystems and visited Cahuita National Park and encountered all kinds of wildlife, including capuchin monkeys and coatis. Volunteers also enjoyed a relaxing snorkel in the pristine waters off Costa Rica's Caribbean coast. What an amazing way to end the week. Eco Tour participants enjoyed their week-long trip to Costa Rica, and Chris Pensetich enjoyed leading it. One participant remarked, I will never forget this trip. I still can hardly believe how amazing these creatures are. Now I have a wonderful experience to share with friends and family. Another mentioned, I thoroughly enjoyed the trip. The people I met were delightful, dedicated, and full of heart. It really is an experience of a lifetime, and the Turtle Island Restoration Network hopes that you will join us on our next expedition. If you'd like to stay up to date with future trips, learn more about plastic pollution, or donate to sea turtle conservation, please visit www.seaturtles.org today.